SpaceX is about to take the space race to a whole new level. Now there is a plan for SpaceX to build a Starship every three days, and plans have been underway for years. In this video, we will show you how SpaceX will build a Starship every three days. We will also explain why this move is an integral part of Elon Musk's plan to colonize Mars. Elon Musk and his team of SpaceX engineers have long had plans to launch a mission to space, and for years the SpaceX team has been working on space technology to make this dream a reality. Now, if the report making the news is to be believed, SpaceX is about to build a Starship every three days. Elon Musk wants to build 1,000 spaceships that could be used to colonize Mars. The SpaceX CEO is driving this mission because he wants his team to be well stocked for missions to Mars and back. Another reason why this move is gathering speed is because SpaceX and Musk are desperate to win the space race. This plan to build spaceships every 72 hours may sound like a stuff of dreams, yet it is true. The craft will be fueled and reusable. SpaceX is still in the process of recruiting a workforce for the massive project at its Texas headquarters. Although there is no verifiable evidence to prove why, Musk believes that the window of opportunity to make a successful exploration to Mars is closing by the day. Hence the need to move with speed. To this end, more than 250 new employees have been recruited to increase the current workforce. Another challenge that the engineers at SpaceX will have to deal with is technical failure. Before thousands of reusable spacecrafts can be mass-produced, the prototype has to be perfected first. This is even more important when you consider what happened at SpaceX headquarters when the SN1 prototype exploded due to weak welds. Mr. Musk argued that the explosion was not a big deal since the prototype was not designed to fly in the first place. However, to avoid a future occurrence which could lead to accidents and harm, if not loss of life, certain safety features need to be added to the designs. For instance, the facility in Texas where the spaceships will be built has to include windbreaks with sky-high protective nets. The payload capacity may also be increased so the ships can carry more cargo. Musk said as much in an interview when he was quoted saying, I think we need probably on the order of 1,000 ships and each of those ships would have more payload than the Saturn V and be reusable. There are several reasons why this move will be incredible if SpaceX can successfully pull it off. First of all, space rockets with reusable features do not exist, and the Space Shuttle was the first ever reusable spacecraft, but with a difference. The shuttle launches vertically into the air like a rocket, but releases itself from the rocket boosters and fuel tanks attached to it when in orbit. The Saturn V, on the other hand, that SpaceX engineers plan to mass-produce, carries all of its boosters and fuel tanks into orbit and sheds nothing. This makes the Saturn V the most powerful spacecraft in the world that can carry as much as 90,000 pounds. Although we must note that some rockets have the capacity to carry much heavier payloads, however, they can only be launched into low Earth orbit but cannot go beyond there. So, with the Saturn V, SpaceX is working on a technology that will be rated as number one in the aerospace industry. Although the plans sound like fairy tales on paper, however, if there is anything we know about Elon Musk, we do know that he is very ambitious and will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. His opinions and plans for the future are quite pragmatic and achievable, especially with his long line of talented engineers and planners. Life on Mars is no longer a fantasy, but an achievable endeavor. If man is to live on Mars, stable and sustainable settlements have to be built on the planet. For this to happen, supplies have to be transported from Earth to Mars aboard spacecraft that are durable and capable of carrying heavy payloads. The supplies that will be required to sustain life on the Red Planet are massive, so the need for 1,000 supply spaceships or spacecraft makes sense eventually. Some could carry breathable liquefied air, another could carry seedlings and soil for growing food, some could carry domestic equipment, and so on. So the more spaceships available for the voyage, the better. Elon Musk and planners at SpaceX understand that success is not assured due to the enormity of the project, 
but when there is a will, man will always find a way. For Musk, self-will is never in short supply. At a time in this jet age when people are binge-watching entertainment videos on Netflix and across various online platforms, people like Musk are thinking about the future. A future far away from Earth. Life on Mars, to be precise. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO wanted to understand why the SpaceX factory was not producing as many crafts as necessary. And during their brainstorming sessions, the new plan was born. His engineers came up with the need for more technicians and engineers to man the various workstations in the factory, with each one tending a particular task. And so, on SpaceX's career day in early February, the company hired several employees to boost the numbers. In all, 252 employees were added to the existing rank at its South Texas launch site, which more than doubled the workforce to 500 workers. With the infusion of new blood, analysts expect the Texas factory to begin production in a massive state. The factory will cost a fortune to build as expected. A mini city has already been built close to the site by the Rio Grande River. This is where many believe SpaceX will launch its massive expedition to Mars. But why does Musk want to launch a mission to space? Elon Musk is of the opinion that humankind has to start making contingency plans for a future where planet Earth may no longer be habitable for humans. To this end, Musk and his team at SpaceX are already in the process of building a permanent settlement on Mars and is also about to launch its first increased mission to Mars within the next four years. The plan is to build as many spaceships that can take humans and supplies to Mars every 26 months. Elon Musk has always said that establishing a permanent abode on Mars with a vision to continue human consciousness as we know it. Many advocates have pointed to the growing threats of global warming and have warned that if the situation does not stop, Earth may become uninhabitable for humans as we know it. Secondly, the possibility that some of the most powerful nuclear-capable countries in the world may go to war against one another, which would make the world unlivable. In such a situation, Musk and other advocates of space missions see the value of building a permanent settlement in space. Besides the SpaceX Mars mission, the company is also assisting NASA to send astronauts to the Moon several years after NASA's last mission to the Moon. SpaceX is also working on a Starship mission to take tourists to the Moon by 2023. So if there is one company that can pull off the production of a spaceship every 72 hours, that company is definitely SpaceX. SpaceX is planned to build a thousand spaceships for its Mars mission is one hell of an ambitious mission. To do this within a short time, its engineers will have to build about one spaceship every 72 hours. If SpaceX engineers are able to pull it off, the company will have more than enough ships to carry people and supplies to Mars and back in quick time. As the mission kicks off, we expect events to escalate quickly and trust us to keep you posted moving forward. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Let us know what you think about SpaceX's new mission in the comments section below. Like and subscribe for more. Until next time, see ya!